really from the beginning of time, I've been an artist. Country music was a staple throughout my entire life. My dad was uh, so musical and a singer-songwriter and we just were always playing music. He had Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash and Waylon Jennings and Patsy Cline and Emmylou Harris and all of the classic country greats playing and I don't remember not having country music in my life. The first time that I ever sang publicly I was eight years old, grade two, and singing Kermit the Frog. It's not easy being green. I remember being petrified and yet so excited. It was uh, definitely a moment that <laughs> I carry with me <laughs> singing It's Not Easy Being Green. The album is called That's Country All. The idea going into the whole writing process was to write songs that really spoke about who I am as a person and as an artist. So That's Country All was really just a, a song that was written about, you know, the things that I did growing up, taking the trucks and going into the pits. I think that that was something that really spoke true to who I am as a person. I guess just really saying that I'm, I'm a country girl through and through. And so we decided that would be the, the title track of the album. My goal was to create music that was fun and upbeat. I wanted songs that come to life on the stage and really draw the crowd into you know, the music, but I still love the classic feel. A lot of my songs were written in the moment, so just depending on what was happening in my life at the time. If I was you know, emotional one day, I might have been writing a song about love, and if I was ticked off about love the next day, then I was writing Six Feet Under. You know, sometimes people come in with a, a hook line or a word or even just a broad idea, and then before you know it, you've got this great song. The goal was to make sure that when people were listening to the songs, they could go, yeah, I remember a moment like that. Or, you know, the song takes me back to when I was a teenager and we were driving our trucks through the trails and heading off to the creek. and and just hanging out. Years ago I won a contest and I was offered an opportunity to fly out to Nashville because of certain things at the time I wasn't able to go. This album, the opportunity arose to go, so I loaded up my truck and I drove to Nashville. I feel like I was almost in a dream state. It was surreal. There was a moment when I drove out. I drove with a couple of songwriters. We're staying in separate places. And I turned onto the road where this house was located and it was the same street name as this farm where I grew up, my dad's farm. And I had a moment, I literally had to pull over on the side of the road and I broke down. It was almost like it was a sign that this is where I was supposed to be and this is what I was supposed to be doing because what are the chances? It was like I was coming home thousands of miles away. 